In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to install Fabric for Minecraft 1.19. Let's get started. Before we get right into the tutorial, let me remind you that if you click on the first link in the description right now, you could set up a server and host a server with Apex hosting and you're going to get 25% off your first order. You could run a Java server or a Bedrock server with them. I run a Bedrock server and it's completely amazing. You could control the server from your phone. I mean, how amazing is that? You could just go into the website and access the console of the server from your phone. And as you can see, you could do modded servers. You could do anything here, plugins. So just check that first link in the description to set up your server with Apex hosting. Now let's get into the tutorial. Step number one is to click the first link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide on how to install fabric. Okay. In here, you could go and read through it. But the main thing here is to click this big button that says download fabric loader here. Go ahead and click on that. That is going to redirect you to the download side of fabric in here. Just let it load. And we're going to click download universal jar as you can see right below where it says download for windows the reason we download the universal jar is because windows button sometimes doesn't work properly now we're going to drop the file into the desktop once it has been downloaded let's go ahead and drop that into the desktop and we could go ahead and close out from this website right here and from this website we're going to click that third link in the description okay which is going to bring you over here where we're going to download the fabric api now the reason we need to install the fabric api is because many of the mods won't run on fabric unless you have a fabric api so just come over here again our written tutorial you could go ahead and read through it i just click on this button that says download fabric api here and it's going to redirect you over here where we're going to download the fabric api just scroll down a little bit until you find minecraft 1.19 as you can see here on the right or you could look for it here in the left just click download on the most recent file for minecraft 1.19 because obviously we're doing the 1.19 version wait five seconds do not click anything in here and the download will start automatically in the bottom left let's just wait for that to start as you can see here in the bottom left we have that file downloaded and we're going to drop it into the desktop as well let's just wait for that to finish there we go now again we're closed out from here and now from here now we need to download java 18 the reason we need to install java 18 is because the newest minecraft above 1.16.5 will require you to have either java 18 or java 17 and i do recommend that you run java 18 many of you will have java 8 or not any java at all so many of you won't even be able to install these files in here maybe you see some other icon or stuff like that so you just click on that link fourth link i believe it will still be labeled as java 18 in the description in here you could read through our guide and all of that and follow step by step with the screenshot or you could just click download here and that is going to bring you over here where we're going to scroll down a little bit until we find java 18 click on java 18 click on windows because i'm assuming you're using windows and then make sure you download the x64 installer because that is the one that we need to install java do not download anything else just click on this line in here that is going to immediately start the download here in the bottom left as we can see here it has started i'm going to minimize this and i'm going to drop that file into the desktop now before we run the java 18 we're going to need to run a jar fix because when you run the java 18 installer you might get some error signs or the java installer won't even run at all or you might not even see this cops in here still so we need to download a jar fix for that click on that fifth link in the description i'm already lost with the links okay just click on that fifth link which will bring you over here to our jar fix tutorial you can read through it or just click on this big blue button right here which is going to bring you over here and in here we're going to click download jar fix right here and that's gonna give us the jar fix let's drop that into the desktop and lastly we're going to download a mod because we do need a mod obviously to try the fabric so we could show you guys that the fabric does work so just close out from this and click on that last link which is going to allow you to install wall edit you can read through the pages or just click on this green button right here the green one okay that is going to redirect you over here scroll down a little bit and download micro 1.19 the file right here for uh wall edit go ahead and click on that and in five seconds the download will start now we're pretty much done downloading and stuff okay i know that was a lot of files just drop that into the desktop but don't worry because i'm going to teach you how to do everything and set up everything real fast let's wait for this to finish and we're going to drop it it's not done yet there we go now we have all the files we need we could close out from the website now in here the first thing we need to do is run the jar fix so go ahead and double click on the jar fix and as you can see jar fix has run successfully it's going to ask you for administrator's permission just allow it and then once you do that it's going to tell you that it runs successfully go ahead and click on okay and now we could get rid of jarfix i'm gonna move jarfix out of the way and now we need to install java 18 go ahead and double click on jdk 18 which is the installer for java 18 go ahead and double click on that and that is going to prompt you with an administrator sign go ahead and allow it and then this is going to come up which is the installer for uh, java 18 go ahead and click next next and let it install in the meantime while it installs let's go ahead and click on type and search click add or remove programs and in here we're going to look for the java version that we have go ahead and type java in here as you can see i have java 8 I do not need Java 8, so I'm going to click on that. I'm not going to install Java 8. If you want Fabric 1.19 to install without any problems, you just need Java 18. Okay, that's the only one we need. As you can see, it appeared down here because it just finished installing. I'm going to get rid of Java 8. As you can see, I got rid of Java 8. I finished installing it. Now I just have Java 18 and the installer finished back here. So I'm going to click close. Now I could get rid of Java 18 or at least the installer. Okay, and now what do we have? We have Fabric API. 
we have wall edit and we have fabric installer right now we need to double click on fabric installer but before you do make sure you run minecraft 1.19 at least once on your computer you want to run minecraft 1.19 at least once then you could go ahead and double click on the fabric installer go ahead and double click on that that is going to bring up this little screen right here which is the loader version the minecraft version and all of that do not install a server because we're not making a server we're just running a client we're running the mods for ourselves so I'll go ahead and click on install and let's just wait for that to install it should be quite fast as you can see right here fabric loader has been installed successfully go ahead and click on ok and you're done pretty much you could close out from that and you could get rid of the fabric installer now before we drop wall edit and before we drop fabric api we need to launch our minecraft launcher when we open our minecraft launcher we should have fabric loader down here automatically selected as you can see i have fabric loader 1.19 automatically selected if that's not the case for you go ahead and click on installations right here on the top i'm gonna make this bigger and make sure that modded is selected as you can see as you can see if modded is not selected nothing shows in here so just go ahead and make sure modded is selected if that is still not working click on new installation and in here scroll down until you find fabric 1.19 as you can see release fabric loader right here is the third one for me but it might be in the bottom for you just look through it until you find fabric loader 1.19 and then just click create down here you can name this whatever you want anyways once we have the loader make sure you come over here to installation right so you open the launcher click on installations find your fabric loader and click on this little folder right here go ahead and double click on that folder that is going to open that minecraft installation which is the fabric one in here we're going to look for a folder called mods okay mods as you can see i have a mods folder right here i'm going to open that folder and i have wall edit i'm gonna get rid of that actually let's get rid of the whole folder because what happens if you come over here and you don't find your mods folder right what if you open this folder you click on your launcher click on this folder in here and then you come over here but there's no mods folder what do you do just right click new and select a folder and then just name that mods mods right so now we have a mods folder we could create it ourselves go ahead and open that folder and in here we're going to drop our fabric api and we're going to drop all edit i'm just going to drop both of them in there and that is it that is pretty much how to install fabric let's go ahead and launch the game you could go ahead and close this folder now Go ahead and open the Minecraft launcher and launch your fabric loader. It's going to prompt you with this warning. It's always going to happen every time you run modded Minecraft. So just go ahead and click on understand and click play. And let's wait for that to finish loading. So as you can see, Minecraft has opened. And in the bottom left, it says fabric. So that means that we have fabric installed. How do we know that we have the mods working? Let's go ahead and click on single player. Let's go ahead and create a new world. And let's see if our world edit works. Keep in mind that now you're running modded Minecraft, meaning that sometimes it's going to be slower. Sometimes it's going to take longer to load. It depends how many mods you add and stuff like that. So let's just wait for this to load up. And I'm going to see if wallet is working okay so the game has loaded obviously i need to give myself administrator's permission so let's click escape open land allow sheets on start land world and now we press t and as you can see, we have the brush command and all of that in here. So that means that uh, world edit is working. I have no idea how to use world edit. That was just a mod that I used for this example. You guys could feel free to add any mods you want. If you want to add any maps and stuff like that, mini maps in corner, any mods you want to add really, just feel free to do that. But yeah, that is how to add fabric to your 1.19 installation. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always, bye bye.